so it's a big thing in the hockey world. Uh, I you know, raised money for prostate cancer and did uh, a lot in uh, Canada, so I thought I'd uh, hop on the bandwagon here. And it's been uh, it's been a great ride. Well, um, it was a no-brainer. I mean, uh, this is for uh, prostate cancer and prostate cancer awareness, and. Uh, I guess everyone on the team does it. We've been doing it for the past few years, and uh, basically this year we're doing it for the awareness part. But uh, I know next year we want to get something going where we can start raising money for it and um, really get the awareness out there. I mean, I just think that having uh, you know a nice upper lip sweater is uh, pretty pretty attractive these days. Uh, going for you know the rugged lumberjack look. Um, I would say mine's just middle of the pack, kind of uh, a greasy mustache. It's it's been a conversation starter whether it's you know guys around the rink, teammates, teachers, whatever, maybe girls on campus. Uh, people want to know what's going on and why we look, uh, I guess, so odd. You definitely get some funny looks across the street or in class when you, uh, you participate. The professor has to take a double look at you just to make sure who's talking. Uh, other than that, it's pretty normal. Um, you know, just a, little, a lot more swag that comes with a mustache. Um, I think uh, Rib's got uh, one of the best ones with the old handlebar. Him and uh, Rosie have got that one going pretty good. Best mustache on the team, Escovito, Moscatel, coin toss. Creativity-wise, me and Rosen both, I guess, took the, uh, took the crown there. Best, uh, I like to throw my hat in there with Privatera and Moscatel and Ben Rosen. I mean, that's kind of, like I said, it's a no-brainer. Um, you know, you look at guys on the team, and um, and they're not very good looking to begin with. So you throw a mustache on someone like me, and it can only it can only make things better. So. Personally, I think a lot of the freshmen they just have terrible style when it comes to the mustache. I mean, this is a trend here we're trying to set, and uh, you know they're having a lot of trouble living up to it. I mean, they're young. You know, some of them are still teenagers. You know, once you get to you know 23, 24 years old, like I am. You know, you can grow this thing out like a man, but these are just uh, boys trying to play a man's game here.